one in four young Singaporeans show signs of depression. IMH treated 600 youths between 20 to 29 years old last year alone, and one out of four people admitted to suffering from multiple symptoms of depression in a recent survey of youths aged 18 to 25. The study was conducted by students from the Wikimui School of Communication and Information in NTU. We know that depression may lead to suicide, but other times the sufferers become less productive and are more at risk for other issues. The latest statistics on depression don't paint a pretty picture of progress, but it shows that the condition is more common than we think. Yet the stigma surrounding it walls off the victim who often suffers in silence. We need to seek out those who need help and help them early. However, the challenge is that we do not have enough practitioners to do that. One way to tackle this problem is to adopt a proactive approach to seek out those who need professional assistance. The objective of this project serves to do just that. With the help of artificial intelligence, with AI, we could apply some techniques like certainty factor, decision tree, and inference diagram to automate the screening of candidates. The screening is done at three levels. And at first is to identify the high-risk group through risk profiling. And second is to do a two-second two-question survey in PSQ2, and then doing a seven-question survey in PSQ, PSQ9. Level 1 can be applied to any organization, be it a school, a workplace, or even just targeting a segment of people. Once Level 1 is done, those identified candidates can proceed to Level 2 and Level 3 in a survey setting so that we can ascertain whether the candidate would likely be suffering from depression, then recommending the next steps. In a survey done by the Annals Academy of Medicine Singapore from December 2009 to December 2010, some focus was placed on the profile of people who are at higher risk of suffering from depression. The five factors are age, ethnicity, chronic physical condition, gender, and marital status. According to the survey, the race which is of highest risk come from those who are mixed and from the minority races in Singapore. This group is given a certainty factor of 1. The certainty factor for the Chinese stands at 0 0.7 in relation to those of mixed and minority group. And this is the same for the Malays at 0 0.7. And the certainty factor for the Indians is slightly higher, standing at 0 0.8. And those with chronic physical condition are given a certainty factor of 1 in developing depression, and in relation, those who do not have chronic physical condition have a certainty factor of 0 0.7. For the gender, females have a certainty factor of 1.5 times compared to the males. And age is a big factor in that those who are between 18 to 34 years old have the highest risk compared to other age groups. We have computed the result, resulting certainty factors for some permutations of the five factors which are depicted by this table. As you can see, those who are divorced, separated, or widowed stand at the highest risk of developing depression, whereas males of age groups beyond 34, 35 years old have the lowest risk. In this project, we have not considered age group below 18 years old, as we do not have enough data to support the analysis and computations. The decision tree enables us to filter the candidates to see if they belong to the highest risk group during the risk profiling stage. And the guided decision tree is used to assess if the candidates fall into the high or low risk group. This flow is based on the candidate's input into the five factors for risk profiling. 
The PHQ-9 is a widely accepted framework to detect depression. This is a survey form of assessment and it comprises nine questions. These nine questions are broken down into two and then seven questions. The first two questions form the PHQ-2 survey. Candidates who clear PHQ-2 do not need to go to PHQ-9. When the candidate finishes the PHQ-9 survey, a score will be calculated to show whether the candidate is diagnosed with depression as well as the severity of it.